Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of interesting and some new animals today. Panda. They have evolved extra muscles around their jaws to help them crush the tough bamboo they live on. Their paws are also tipped with six large claws, which are dexterous but can also deliver a formidable swipe. The females are receptive to mating for only two or three days once a year. When mating, the female is in a crouching head down position as the male mounts her from behind. Copulation time ranges from 30 seconds to 5 minutes, but the male may mount her repeatedly to ensure successful fertilisation. Giant pandas give birth to twins in about half of pregnancies. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Elk or moose? It is the largest and heaviest extant species in the deer family. They are solitary animals unless it is the mating season, where there are energetic fights between males competing for a female. They are cold adapted mammals with thickened skin, a dense heat retaining coat and a low surface to volume ratio which provides excellent cold tolerance but poor heat tolerance. Prisvolsky's horse or simply Taki. It's a Mongolian wild horse and it is rare and endangered. It was originally native to the steppes of Central Asia. Once extinct in the wild, it has been reintroduced to its native habitat since the 1990s in Mongolia. Clouded Leopard is a talented climber and is able to climb down vertical tree trunks head first. They can easily jump up 1.2 meters. Red Panda, they use anal glands to mark their territory, producing a strong smell. As cute as they look, they can be very aggressive. Asian Elephant, the trunk is innervated primarily by the trigeminal nerve and thought to be manipulated by about 40 to 60,000 muscles. Asian black bear, they are more aggressive towards humans than brown bears of Eurasia and the American black bears. Snub-nosed monkey, mating starts with the female taking up eye contact with the male. She flashes herself at him. If he shows interest, they go on to mate. Tiger. It is an obligate carnivore. It prefers hunting large ungulates, frequently kills wild boar, and occasionally hog deer and other medium-sized animals. Domestic livestock is preyed upon in areas of human encroachment. In the former range of the South China tiger, additional tiger prey species may have included sero, tufted deer and sambar. Tigers approach prey from the side or behind from as close a distance as possible and grasp the prey's throat to kill it. The South China tiger was a similar height to the Bengal tiger, but differed in the skull and coat characteristics. Their carnassials and molars are shorter than the Bengal tiger, and the cranial region is shorter with orbits set closer together. Post-orbital processes are larger. Their coat was lighter and more yellowish, and the paws, face and stomach appear more white. The stripes are narrower 
more numerous and more sharp pitched. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.